Hey guys, it's Greg, Lost Friends Garage again. Hey, we're going to be doing some emergency brake cables on the 75 Triumph Spitfire. So, why don't you grab yourself something to drink? Maybe some ginger juice or a cold beer. Let's do this. I'm sitting here watching Steve's project garage. He's rebuilding the motor on his Spitfire. And I'm going to put out a challenge to you guys. I'm going to be doing this with most of my videos. I'm going to do a shout out. This one's for Steve. Uh, so I'm going to put a link up here, a card to his channel, and in the description down below. So go check them out. Good stuff. So let's get to it. Okay, as you can see, uh, these are the ends here and here that go out to the wheels in the back. They have, in the diagram, to have the bracket facing in toward the differential, which I've done a lot of talking around, asking around, that if you do that, there's a spring that goes from that hole to the backing plate to where the lever is for the emergency brake. It puts the spring in a bind. Uh, and then somebody said that originally from the factory that was a mistake and they just uh, suggested to have it turned around, which is the way I've done mine uh, to face toward the wheel. Uh, it, and then you tension up the with the, with the adjustments on both sides where the, wheel, where the wheels are and then up toward the front where it is attached to the lever you do your fine fine adjustments uh, so j just to show you what I got what I'm up to the old one I broke I don't have that piece with me I'm trying to get the nut off, nuts off I broke it just in front of this nut which be the first one on there broke it off and so just to get the cable out and uh, the old one out I call uh, took the tire off I had the tire back on thinking well I wouldn't need back in there but me what do you know so I took the cutoff wheel and I just cut the cable since it's not going to be used anymore it's junk so make it easier to get it out so that's my next thing I got to do and then I got to remove the main cable from the from the lever which is just held on by a pin well this pin and then this is uh, bolted on and it's fed up through this spring that's underneath the car where it comes through the body uh, this clip I guess is, is holds that in place so we got to get all that off too Okay, so off camera, I pulled it all back apart because I needed to clean them. I need to find that other spring and clean them up and painted them because I don't want them to rust. Oh, right there's the old spring right there on the back of the car. I'll grab that, clean it up, get it up there, give it a shot of paint. Uh, but before we put it together, I need to get all the nuts and that figured out where I need to uh, put them at yeah we're just gonna get everything put together where we need it at let them dry I still need to get the cable out from under the uh, where the handle goes so yeah I dropped a nut well, oh, Bob One Ball here, and I'm here to talk to you about the Missing Nut Society. Many men across the nation, in the garage, backyard, under a tree, is always affected by nut loss. Yeah, nut loss just doesn't affect you, it affects other people around you. And there's many side effects to nut loss. 
depression, anxiety, grumpiness, and more. Hey guys, I'm Harold Onestone. I come out to my garage today and realized I lost one nut. And I thought I was going to be a victim society. And then just one day, I'm making progress. And just this morning, the Missing Nut Society sent out our response team to go help Harold Onestone get his nut back. That's right, the Missing Nut Society is backed by a great group of people. But there is great sacrifice. We want to thank Willie Oneball for, of our response team for sacrificing one of his nuts for Harold Onestone. That's right, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you, Willie Oneball, for one of your nuts. The happiness from Harold Onestone is from the community that we have here at the Missing Nut Society. If you want to make a donation to the Missing Nut Society for just 79 cents a day, it goes a long way bringing men with missing nuts back to their families and being leaders that they are meant to be. Yeah, once again, my name is Bob Oneball, and if you want to join our team or need help, please reach out to www nut.com or where'd my nuts go.net okay guys enough of that silliness but uh let's get back to this you know what i'm going to do is i brought some of the parts over and uh that is just for the um port attached to the lever on the inside of the brakes but uh it's supposed to be a Clevis pin, so I'm going to see about changing that out. I'm just going to arrange, put together one end, and then worry about getting the center section in, and then I'll feed this from one side to the other, and then do the exact same thing on the other end. Now the spring will go on very last. But let's take one end. Don't matter which end you take, which end you do first. And we run this down so far. And then I'm going to run that on there facing toward the drum. But if I had it facing this way, see, this is what I was talking about before, is that the spring would go in there, and it runs like so, pulled it down, well, nutted down, to the, to the drum. Why? Why does the break, uh, that don't make, does that make sense? It don't to me. Uh, so... That is why I am going to run it that way. That makes more sense, don't it? So that's why I'm going to run it that way. We're just going to... We ain't going to snug these down tight. Just hand snug. For now... Just so we don't lose all these little pieces, I know where they're at at least. And then, we'll put on the lock washer. I didn't have any new ones, any more new ones, so. And then this will go on top. I ha did have square nut though for it. And that. Moves on like so, if you can get it on there. And 
There we go. Now I like to run it down to where the head of the bolt has maybe one, uh, has maybe one thread showing out of it. And then I'm just going to tight snug this down here. And that's together. One end. And then you just do the same with the other end once you get this fed through. But the next one is this. Get this. Uh, next thing is getting the center cable in. So let's go fight with that. Okay, guys, this is where we're at. Uh, I was just underneath the car uh, trying to fish this cable in. Um, the bracket, you guys might know, someone can tell me. How do you feed this end, uh, the threaded end, through the bracket because it's U-shaped? Uh, from the outside, I can get it through the one hole. And, well, it's like a 90 degree bracket. It's not U shaped, but it's 90 degree. But you can get it through the one hole, but you can't get it through the second one, which is going to have it come back to this bracket uh, on either side. I tried both sides. Um, the diff, it's in the way. Because the car is on jack stands, so the diff is hanging. Um, I was kind of thinking of jacking, putting a jack underneath the diff to see if I can raise it enough to where I can fish it through this way and then get some slack and fish it through this way because you can't get that angle because the, with the threaded end, it goes through both at one time. You got to push it through. Get some slack, push it through, put it through here, do the same over here. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait to finish that part of it. I still need to do the brakes, so I'll be under there anyway. Once I, I find out how uh, some of you guys have done this. Um, I did get the hand bracket or the cable in for the hand lever. Uh, got that all squared away, and to let you guys know that. In this diagram, it is, this is not that big. Nowhere near that. It's small. It's real small. And it, uh, this part here, um, that's where you get the tension. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta pull the spring. You gotta compress the spring to get some tension underneath the spring and then put, and have that clamp on there. That clamp is just about the size of the retainer or whatever you want to call it, which is right here. So it's very small. So just to let you know. Um, they just have it exploded. It's, yeah. Uh, but we got that part in. So that was no big deal. But yeah, I'm just having a hard time with getting that over the brackets where it goes through here and here. So, well, yeah. Okay, there you go. Well, we got kind of to the point to where I'll just worry about it later. Just worry about it later. Hey, go check out Steve's Project Garage. Great channel, good content, good guy. Uh, leave a comment. If you guys want to, you know, I try to reply to all my comments, and it's a good way for me to find your channel. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe. It tells the algorithm that, hey, this guy's got good stuff, and it will help out the channel a lot. I'm telling you, it will. Uh, give me a big thumbs up, not the finger, and hey, why don't you go check out this video? We'll see you on the next one.